Hi, my name is Jake Gilbert. I'm the head football coach at Westfield High School in Westfield, Indiana. We were this year's 2016 5A state champions. A big reason that we were successful on the field this year is our defense gave up 14 points a game. We feel like our coverage concept has helped us a lot. One of the coverages that we're going to talk to you about today is two wall. Two wall has helped us not only defend the run, but create lots of takeaways. We lost the turnover battle one time in 14 games this year, and we're positive that this defense has helped us. Let's look at some of the film. Okay, before we go to the film, let's look at this in a diagram. As you see here, um, we are in a 3-4. We're going to blitz two players, and we're going to play wall with the other two linebackers. You can get to two wall a variety of ways. You could send five from a three-man front, like is drawn up here, and you could use any of the two remaining linebackers to wall off the inside receivers. You could send one linebacker on a blitz from a four-man front and use the two remaining linebackers to play the wall technique and play cover two with the secondary. Or you could just line up in five defensive linemen in a short yarded situation and play cover two and use the linebackers to wall. So when we say two wall, we're really playing two deep, four under. Our corners and our safeties are playing normal cover two as we teach it. So it's really no adjustment to them. We like this in a variety of ways. Again, maybe we're trying to get pressure on a 10 personnel team, or maybe we're trying to play cover two to have a good hard corner sit the edge on a flex bone team. There's a, a number of reasons to use this coverage. As we see here, our corners and safeties are going to drop to their normal cover two responsibilities. And in this particular slide, we're going to blitz the mic and the will. But our Sam and our bandit, our outside linebackers, are going to play wall technique on the inside receivers on their side. If this were to be a three by one formation, we would push, we call it. And when we push, the linebacker closest to the trips pushes out to number two. The linebacker farthest from the trips pushes out to number three. Okay, now let's look at the film. We like to play two wall in multitude of situations. Here's a big personnel grouping. So this team here is playing a full house offense. They're down close to the goal line. We like to play cover two down here because we like to play a good hard edge setting corner against the run. But we also like to be able to have our linebackers play fast and not have too much of a coverage responsibility. So here we only have two linebackers to drop. We're actually playing five defensive linemen to match their personnel. Here they throw a pass. We have a safety who is disciplined and stays on top, and it really helps us. Here's another example of two wall. We want to bring pressure out of a four-man front. We thought we could get pressure off the edge and come unblocked. We do. We're playing our normal defense everywhere else, normal cover two. You can see the way we play cover two. Our guys' eyes are in the backfield. So we're getting some corner help on our run fit, which is good. Our linebackers are playing normal and playing run first, even though we're in cover two, great job. Here's a look at a five-man defensive line against this same team with multiple receivers. Now you can see we're gonna play cover two, but we're in disguise here first. So as they check and change the play, we're gonna play a cover two, but we get them on our disguise, we believe. And you can see our safety backpedaling out of there. And they're throwing into cover two, and maybe they didn't know. So this seems a little crazy that this trips is maybe unguarded. The other thing I wanted to show you here, though, is that post-snap, our linebackers push to two and three like I talked about. So you have to be comfortable with this versus trips or else you have to check to another coverage. Here our Mike pushes the number two up top and our Will pushes the number three and we're playing cover two around everyone else. Now here's an example of two wall against a two by two team where we're in a three man front. So we're in a three, four, we're gonna play cover two, we're gonna blitz a couple guys. So we still wanna send five, we bring double edge pressure. Not overly successful here, but this is another way you can play two wall. And then our Mike and our Will, who do not blitz if it's a pass, would wall off the inside receivers, but they should be run first defenders. No one has to get too deep here. They ought to be able to read their keys and play the run. Okay, another example of two wall against a compressed formation. This team's a wing T type of team. We want to play with two safeties and two corners and set the edge, but be able to stay on top versus play action because they're pretty good at that. 
You can see here we're in a four-man front. We blitz one defender. So they motion, we blitz into it. Our other two linebackers are playing two wall. And then one more look here with the five-man D-line, two linebackers. Again, you can see us setting the edge really well, maintaining cover two over the top. So you can use two wall for a variety of things. To pressure a passer in uh, a 10 personnel setting or 11 personnel setting, single back type offense, or to compress your defense to meet theirs but still stay on top at safety. Two wall is a good defense.